stunning new details tonight in the shooting that killed a Fargo officer who grew up in Minnesota. Investigators say the man who opened fire ambushed these four officers with some serious firepower. And today they revealed they think those officers stopped something even more sinister. It's clear to me this person was out to kill. Hundreds of rounds, high-powered rifles, handguns, a grenade, and gasoline. These new images show the devastating firepower found inside Mohammed Barakat's car. The weaponry and the intent and the commitment to place great carnage upon our community. That firepower aimed at officers after a fender bender in Fargo on Friday. It was an absolute ambush. There's no other way to describe that. 23-year-old officer Jake Wallin from St. Michael lost his life. Two other officers, Andrew Dotis and Tyler Hawes, are still in the hospital. We still need those thoughts and prayers for them. They've got some obstacles to overcome. So is an innocent woman. Shot as she was trying to flee the gunfire. And the attorney general says the shooter would have caused even more carnage. We had reason to believe we knew where he was headed. And there were a lot of people down here Friday afternoon. If not for a fourth officer's steady shot. And one of the rounds that he fired at Barakat disabled the long rifle. Absolute courage under fire. The police chief says his officers put their lives on the line. It's a hell of an effort and it's an incredible act of valor and heroism. To keep the community safe. There are these people who will do these things that we won't. And flags are flying at half staff for the officer who made the ultimate sacrifice. Be worthy of what he did. Be worthy of what all these men and women do. Uh, be worthy. Officer Walling will be laid to rest on Saturday in Pequot Lakes. We're expecting more information on the gunman and his motivation during a press conference on Friday.